Hey everybody, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Rival here, and we're going to go and talk to... Uh... Well, we're going to go and talk to the king and see if we can get him to... Well, help defend the spire, because Hades is coming. And we all know how nice Hades is, don't we? Hey, Avard. How you doing, buddy? You look so happy. Hey, Loy. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target, Avad. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. <laughs> Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. It's a, it's a fair amount. All right. Let's see if he's set to find the Have answer. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. All right, in which case he definitely won't. We need to win. Yeah, we'll talk to the Blameless Murad because, you know, he's blameless. Where are you, Blameless? Yo, Blameless! Where you at, buddy? Would you mind explaining to me why, why you moved so far away? Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses in that Aspire. Mm -hmm. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for Shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't understand yet. She, everything that we've done throughout the game, people have noticed, basically. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes. Bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. Mm -hmm. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And what about the Spire? Because that's the real objective. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. <laughs> a number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. Yeah, they're not really feeling the whole Karja love. I mean, they, they still see... The Karja as like the the Mad King's Karja. They're not seeing it as the Ara um, Avad Karja, which you can understand basically where they're coming from. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. 
So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Basically, we've got a load of places we can go to, like review the preparation on the ridge, review the preparation on the spire. We're going to, because it does give us a chance to kind of talk to them. Uh, the Sobek journals are slowly starting to open, which is really good. They're tied to certain things in the game. So we can actually hear her thoughts and things. I'm going to do that for a couple of them. Uh, I think we've only opened two anyway. Um, I'm really miffed that I missed a couple of the audio data points. Yeah, these are all the, the Sobek journals we've opened so far. Uh, so... Under repair, under repair, under repair, under repair, under repair, repaired. It's a text file. Just wrapped up the inspection of Gaia Prime's site. Construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control room remind me of the Starship bridges in those cheesy old uh, sci-fi vids. Leaving spaces for Alpha's already completed prefab modules. Fingers crossed we never have to seal ourselves in here. Not that Elysium sounds much better. Spent the last week in Bryce at uh, the Bryce site designing the Z uh, Zero Dawn project labs, drawing up protocols. The base we're repurposing was huge, plenty of room to, for workspaces and residence blocks. The worker is already setting up my office slash lab. Not a fan of the glass wall. Guess Murray's intention was to, to scom me as all seeing presence. Ugh, opposite effect. Makes me feel watched on the display. Tempted to paint it over. Harris recorded his presentation today, uh, yesterday, suitably bleak, scheduled to record mine Friday. As soon as the reception, lounge, holo theatres and first residences block at uh, ZD site are finished, we'll start processing the candidates being held outside Tucson. 27 already. Construction teams prioritizing Pac, Rim and Aussie candidates. How scared and confused they must be. Snatched off the street, carted across the world, held in cells. Here's hoping they understand once they see the big picture. Gonna catch a few hours sleep here and <clears throat> then fly back to ZD site. Harris promised delivery of QB lattices by noon. Expect Mark 1 will take two weeks to machine, assemble and test. I aim to launch Gaia at 0.6T grounding. From there I'll spin her up past one, t uh, I'm guessing terabyte. <clears throat> I wonder how long it'll take to break the 1.3 T record. MIE can go hang <laughs> sleep. Okay, so I'm guessing that it might not be terabyte, it might be um, a new data speed or something like that. But I think MIE is like a law against AIs being unshackled or something like that. And that's a repair by. Okay. Uh, last time I visited Prime was November of last year. Months since have been a blur. Flew out. I flew out last night to oversee the installation of the central armature and the master override. You're welcome, Ted. Which was completed by 0430. So the fact that there was a master override is because of Ted. The kill switch. He wanted it. And Gaia agreed with him that it was a necessary thing. So without Ted, there would be no Master Override. That's something they don't talk about when they're saying that Ted's just wanted to bury the past. Hmm, interesting. So I decided to grab a few hours sleep before heading back to ZD. I call, called Gaia before I bedded down, ostensibly to update her on the site plan, but the truth is, I missed her. I don't have a habit of speaking to her before I sleep. Seems to be the only thing that calms me these days. Worked to a message from Oswald. The Odyssey launched yesterday, so terrestrial life's chance of survival has doubled. Why then do I feel uneasy? I just keep wondering what kind of world Far Zenith will create if the ship reaches its destination so many decades from now. And I worry about that alpha build of Apollo. So much knowledge, so few restraints, and no failsafes. How will they avoid repeating our mistakes? 
What's to stop them from playing God? Forward to the Ossi message to the Alphas, Nato replied in less than a minute with a poem, of course, The Building of the Ship by Longfellow. And it's long... <laughs> all right. I didn't read all of it, but it seems to be about launching a ship rather than building one. This stanza, or couplet, or whatever, leapt out at me. Humanity, with all its fears, with all its hopes of future years, is hanging breathless on thy fate. Yeah, Odyssey and Zero Dawn both. Speaking of which, I should get back to ZD. Guess I should stop by Nato's lab and check on Demeter's progress too. If I can get out of there without a volume of Tennyson passed into my head, I'll count myself lucky. Till next time. I like these little logs. It just... It's nice. It just kind of gives you a little bit of insight into what she's thinking, feeling. Did I just read that one? I did, yeah. No, you can't have a moment of time. I'm busy. I am Aloy. I'm destroying... Well, trying to not to destroy the world. I'm trying not to destroy the world. Uh, so that's preparation site. So that's going to be a bit of a run to get up there. But this one's dead easy, so... Hi. Okay. Quick save. And then I'm going to grab these, because I'm probably going to need them. Do I want a Steve? I think I do want a Steve. Almost there now. Hey, Steve. Hey, then, buddy. I haven't seen you in a while. Sorry, I've been busy. Have you just polished that armor, is it? Of course. Isn't that a little... What? Nothing. Out with it, woman. Forget I said anything. You look very dignified. Thank you. And shiny. Petra. How are you doing, Here she is. The guest of honor. I knew there was something about you. Hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Oh, awesome. Need me to test one out? Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. They really didn't put up much of a fight that time, either. Okay. It is nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Range is good. Try the next. Oh, I might have accidentally done the dummies in. I like it. See? That'll knock a machine on its ass. Ancient yeah. or no. With oh, these, wow. I think we could hold off an army. Yeah. Petra, that thing is freaking awesome. I want one. Can you make it a bit lighter so I can carry it around with me? You know, in my pocket or something. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle... I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again. I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. She's kind of badass. I kind of like Petra a bit. How many that... men do you think you'll kill in the battle? From the battle of the dawn? Well, Nicole, I don't like to go. You came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. 
I yeah. would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot, especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. Then we win. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Okay. Geneva, they called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion. Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. Oh, that's cool. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing, I don't doubt it. <laughs> ah, this time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. I like that. Yeah. Did I hear that? Yep, yeah, Nil's here. We got Nil. Nil? Aloy. They told me your name. I said hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. <laughs> I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by matter. Still, I forgive. A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil... You're making it difficult to be glad to see you. <laughs> but you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible <laughs> odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? Nils nuts. Let's just go with that. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. Enough, woman. Oh, you two. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now... A glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the Low Gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy... It was done well. Although, I can't shake this rogue, Vinasha. She delights in goading me. Like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then, Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. Meridian. I oh, should probably talk to Vanasha. She did. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. <laughs> We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. Yeah. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. 
Tomorrow, may the sun rise on a better world. Well, fingers crossed anyway. We do have a lot of other stuff to take care of. Teb! Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. Actually, it does. I get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Should be out there fighting the shameless like place. It really couldn't here. be more different to the sacred land, could it? Nope. Oh, hello, Alida. Alida. I'm I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs. Anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him. For both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment. Every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. Arrested too for disorderly conduct. She's turning into a little bit of an awesome person, isn't she? Guys, anyone in here? Um, he's saying there's some more out here. Um, oh, oh, oh. oh, that's our bed. Yeah, I think we've done there now. Okay, so we'll go and get Steve. And we'll ride to the preparations at the spy so we can see the uh the Ozaram freebooters. Is safe at last. We can never repay you for what you've done. Yep, and you'll never have to. Had to take over my brother's shift today. I'm sure as the sun's rising, he's off courting that noble. Watch out, people coming through. Don't want any accidents in here. Okay. Better get off. Nope. Fine. We're probably gonna need some of that. Come on, Steve. Do I know you? You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The oh, machines yeah. shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged. And fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Awesome. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. You're nuts. Want to point that out. But I'm happy you're here. And this is how you get up to the spire. It's a bit of a long ride, you know, but... Ooh. 
you must be someone we know. Talana! Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. Gotcha. No promises. I gotta say, it's a pretty damn good view where you're looking from as well, so... That's... Riding Steve up to the spire. Alright. Yes, we've got a few people around here to talk to. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll start from you, I think. Yup. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. They're what morons. does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. <laughs> Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys, just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. Hey, let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing yep. up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. Mm -hmm. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's going to be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. Yeah. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At the, the front, front of the line. line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Versa would be proud. Only if we win. Yeah, good point. I like Aaron. He's a real kind of solid guy. You know, he's had to grow up a bit. But... Hey! Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. For all what's wrong. You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? <laughs> Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> Don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. It rises taller than the highest tree. Yep. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. 
She comes. The anointed. Don't even go there. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. She's not feeling the best about this. Which is understandable. Alright, Steve. I appreciate you bringing me up here, buddy. But, um... It'll be a long ride back, pal. Okay, so... Just try not to get, like sucked into the fighting or anything and if it, when things start flying around run okay excellent as long as we understand each other pal okay guys so we're going to fast travel back to here and then get back to that before the final battle we have well the video is been going for around half an hour um i mean i'm going to do as much of the actual main battle in one video as I can. I've got a feeling it's going to be a really big doozy of a battle. If you played it, you know. I don't think I need to do any selling or anything. All my weapons are maxed out on ammo. I mean, I never got that freaking um, rabbit skin, which kind of sucks. Because I did want to get that. So I could have maximum number of uh, sharp shot arrows, but yeah, it's the way it goes. Uh, let's take a look here. This is all the frozen wilds bits. We just haven't got this. And this is all the things we're missing. They're out in the world. You can find them out in the world. Just haven't had time to go looking for them. These are still under repair. Halloween. Travis came by trick-or-treating, dressed up like me. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. I gave him half an eaten packet of dandy wafers as a treat and kicked him out. But not before he invited me to some kind of Italian horror extravaganza he organised for the ZD staff. Seriously, as though there isn't enough horror in the world already. Anyway, I was already scheduled to fly out, of he uh, out here to G Prime for final inspections with Harris and the President's delegation. Ted was here too and he was not looking good. Kept fidgeting. Couldn't seem to look me in the face without blinking. I was relieved when he was he boarded his vert and flew back to Thebes. <sighs> Though I guess I couldn't shouldn't complain. If he wants to build himself a deluxe shelter and ride out the apocalypse, let him. Keeps me out of this and away from me. Harris stuck around long enough to give me a detailed briefing on the strategic situation. Basically, we've enter, entered the terminal phase, as though the colour of the sky when I was flying over here wasn't clear enough. Another two or three weeks, the atmosphere won't be breathable. The last vestiges of European and West African civ brigades are trapped with their backs against the Atlantic. The swarm that scuttled across Antarctica is crossing the Straits of Megalan, about to start its death crawl up the South America towards the Amazon. All the work we did to reconstitute the rainforest, it comes to this. The advanced elements of the Pacific swarms are already skirmishing with units on the Kalmar Sea Wall. The noose is tightening. Projections show we can still finish in time, but the margin for error is plus or minus 10 days. Not good spread. If the plague breaks through ahead of schedule, well, it just can't. It will not let that happen. Enough writing. Need to get back to zero dawn. Yeah, it's getting bad, people. It's getting bad. Such a close thing. It's been, what, 43 hours since Harris warned me? Said collapse on the eastern line was imminent. Swarms launching some kind of pincer maneuver versus Win Wichita salient. Five or six days more, I think Guy would have launched without our help. Really, I do. We had to scramble. ZD became a madhouse. Absolute bedlam. Every team rushing to stabilize code and lockdown as gammas got evacuated, then betas. Once Guy was on her way, I gathered the alphas together to give them the bad news. Felt like I was going to throw up. But they already knew, of course. They knew the work wasn't really finished. Close, but not quite there. Still tests to run, kinks to smooth, work to do. They accepted it, no releasing for us. We'll spend the rest of our lives here testing and polishing each subordinate function to perfection. 
guess that's what you get when you recruit a bunch of obsessive perfectionists. Managed not to cry until I got back to my office. So here we are, setting up a Gaia Prime, and yeah, such a close thing. Makes me feel nauseated over again when I contemplate how the fate of life could hinge on a coincidence. If I never proposed if I'd never proposed the Lightkeeper protocol, there would never have been living spaces constructed here. If I'd abandoned the protocol sooner, the necessary life support system would never have been installed. If, if, if. At least we won't have to endure the creepiness of raising and training clones of ourselves. The genetic material is never processed out of the cradle site, so it's not even possible. For, what I'm, for which I'm glad I really, really wouldn't want to spend time around a young Travis Tate, raised by Travis Tate. No, it'll be up to us to perfect Gaia, one generation only. Update. That was General Harris. The salient has collapsed. USRC expects to be overrun in two days, which gives us 72 hours at best to lock down and seal up. Buried alive for life's sake. I'll go tell the others. Yep. It was bad. It was absolutely freaking terrible. Ammunition and bandages, whatever you can find. Get them to the gate. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it here. Um, tomorrow we'll go through everything else. Bolin's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? There's plenty left you can do, Aloy, but... I think it's time to call it a day for this video. So tomorrow we will start the battle of Meridian and the Spire. I can't remember the battle entirely. I, I'm fairly sure we're going to have a lot of shocks and spills and lots of combat. But that'll be tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like what you saw, please do consider subscribing. Until then, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.